Now we go to the higher order of partial derivative. So at the previous subtopic, we have learned about the first order. So that is when we differentiate with respect to x, the way to write is del f del x. So what happens if we want to differentiate for the second time? So that is the higher order. So you want to differentiate with respect to x again. The way to write is actually very simple. Just take the answer of the first order and put it inside the bracket. And you write the del, del x is outside. And you can rewrite it. Okay, the so way to rewrite it is also very simple. Just have to write the symbol. You can see the symbol del, del. Uh, it had two symbol del here. So that's why you have del, two, okay, at here. And the two is actually between the symbol del and f. And at the bottom, we have del x, del x, so you can rewrite it as del x, and you have the 2 here, and the 2 is actually after the variable x. So if we want to do for the third time, so we want to differentiate with respect to x again, so we're going to follow the same concept, you're going to take the answer of the second order and put it inside the bracket, and then you have the del, and then you have the del x here, and then you can rewrite it. So the way to rewrite is actually, this is del 3 here, because you have 3 symbol del, Okay, so you have del 3. Okay, this 3 is actually between the symbol del and f. Okay, at the bottom you have del x, del x2 here. So you can rewrite it as del x3. So this 3 is actually not the third order. So we count for the another notation. So another notation uh, for the first order actually is very simple. Just write fx. This just means that differentiate with respect to x. Okay, if you go for the second order, differentiate with respect to x again, so the way to write is actually f x x for the third time okay, or the third order is just write f x x x okay so let's just look at what happened if we want to differentiate with respect to y for the first time for the first order second order and the third order okay so for the first order okay so we just have to write del f del y and for the second order it will be take the answer first order and put it inside the bracket and you can rewrite it as del 2f and del y2. Okay, and for the third order, we're going to use the same concept. So we have this answer. Okay, and if you look at another direction that is actually very direct, so we just have to write fy for the first order, second order will be fyy, and third order will be fyyy. Now we have the first order that is uh, differentiate with respect to x. That's why we have del f del x. Okay, what happens if you want to differentiate with respect to y at the second order? Then what you have to do is take the answer of the first order and put it inside the bracket. And then you have del del y here. And then this one you can rewrite it as del 2 and f. Okay, because you have two symbols of del. That's why you have a 2 here in between of del and f. Okay, for the bottom, so you have del y del x. You just have to rewrite them. Okay, for the third time, let's say for the third order, okay, we want to differentiate with respect to y again. So it means that you have to take the answer of the second order, put it inside the bracket, and then this one you can rewrite it as del 3, okay, because this is for the third order. And this del y del y, you actually can rewrite it as del y 2 here, and followed by del x. Now, how about another notation? For another notation, if you for the first order differentiate with respect to x, it's actually fx. For the second order, if you want to differentiate again, uh, but this time is with respect to y, so the way to write is fxy. Then, if for the third order, it will be fxyy. Now, pause the video for a while and try yourself to find uh, try to find this uh, partial derivative by yourself, right? So for the first order, okay, if you want to differentiate with respect to y, this is actually del f del y. And if you want to do again, okay, for the second order with respect to y, differentiate with respect to y, you just have to write this way, take the answer of first order, put inside the bracket, and this one you can rewrite it as del 2f del y2. Okay? Just have to remember this these two it must be between the symbol of del and this one. Uh, and f at bottom it must be after the variable. Okay, and then uh, for the third term, so you just have to take the answer of the second order and put it inside the bracket. Okay, this is differentiate with respect to x, put del x at the outside. Okay, and then this one you can rewrite it. So you have three symbols of del here, so it's del 3, f. At the bottom, we have del x and del y, 2 here. Okay, the notation is actually very direct. 
So the first order will be Fy, second order will be Fyy for the second time. And if the, for the third time uh, or the third order, it will be Fyyx. Now pause the video for a while and try to find this partial derivative by yourself. Okay, for the first order, they ask you to differentiate respect to x. The way to write is actually del f del x. For the second order, if you want to differentiate with respect to y, so you just have to take the answer of the first order and put it into the bracket. If we del del y here, and you can rewrite this as del f. You can rewrite this as del two f, and you have del y del x here. And for the third order, if they ask you to differentiate with respect to x, take the answer of the second order and put it inside the bracket. If we del del x. Okay, you can rewrite it as del 3f, you have del x, del y, del x. Uh, do not group del x, del x together become del x2 because uh, when you write the higher order of uh, partial derivative, you have to follow the sequence of differentiation. So for another donation, it will be fx for the first order, for the second order will be fxy, and for the third order okay when we say differential respect to x it will be f x y x now pause the video for a while and try to find this higher order of partial derivative by yourself now we want to differentiate with respect to y for the first order the way to write is del f del y so for the second order will be del del x because if they want you to differentiate with respect to x take the answer of the first order put it into the bracket and this one you can rewrite it as del 2f del x del y and differentiate with respect to y for the third order you take the answer of the second order put it inside the bracket and you write the del del y outside because it's one to differentiate with respect to y and can rewrite it as del 3f del y del x del y and don't group the del y and del y together just leave it this way because you have to follow the sequence of differentiation now for another donation it will be del y for the first order and then for the second order it will be del y x it did not differentiate with respect to x for the second order and then for the third order differentiate with respect to y again it will be f y x y for this example they want you to find the third order of the partial derivative. Okay, let's just look at the first one. So they want you to find f x x y. So what you have to do is you have to do the differentiation from the sequence that is from the left to right. Okay, it means that you should follow the sequence. You should begin with f x and then f x x and then f x x y. So let's just begin with the first order. So the first order that is fx. So it means that you're going to differentiate with respect to x and treat the y as constant. So focus on the x. You differentiate x squared, you have 2x. 2x multiplied with a constant, you have a constant that is y cubed. So that's why you have 2xy cubed. So focus on the x, differentiate x, you have 4x cubed. 4x cubed multiplied with constant y, so you have 4x cubed y. Now go for the second order. So the second order is basically get from uh, the differentiation. You do the differentiations and you take the answer of the first order. You do the differentiations. So you differentiate with respect to x. So focus on the x only. So differentiate x, you have 1 multiplied with constant 2y cubed. So you have 2y cubed. Okay. And then at here, differentiate on uh, x cubed. So you differentiate x cubed, you have 3y squared. 3y squared multiplied with 4y. It give you 12x square y. Now for the third order, they want you to differentiate with respect to y. So now this time you focus on y and the x will be constant. Focus on y. So if you differentiate on the y, so this is actually 3y square. 3y square multiply with 2 is give you 6y square. And you focus on y, so you differentiate y, you have 1, 1 multiplied with a constant 12x squared, so there's 12x squared here. Now let's just look at the second one. The second, so they ask you to find f, y, x, y. So begin with f, y, and then followed by f, y, x, and then f, y, x, y. Okay, so let's just begin with f, y first. So it means that you're going to differentiate 
with respect to y okay focus on y so differentiate on the y this is actually give you 3y square 3y square multiply with the constant x square so we just give us 3 square 3 x square y square and here focus on the y so you differentiate y you have 1 so multiply with x power 4 so you have x power 4 so now go for the second order they want you to differentiate with respect to x okay so now take the answer of the first order and we do the differentiation so differentiate with respect to x means focus on the x so you differentiate x squared so you have 2x 2x multiply with constant 3y squared so you have 6xy squared so differentiate on the x power 4 so you have 4x cubed now for the third order differentiate with respect to y focus on y so focus on y so you differentiate y square you have 2y multiply with the constant 6x so you have 12xy 12xy so this one we do not have y here so this is basically a constant so you differentiate a constant you have zero Okay, now let's look at the second example. So second example, they are using the different notation. They are using this uh, notation del. Okay, they are using the symbol del. If you are using the symbol del, so you got to read the notation slightly different. Okay, so you have to read from the right to the left. It means that you should begin to read uh, the notation. Okay, starting from the del x. Okay, so starting from the del x, and the second order it will be the del y. Okay, and this one basically you can rewrite it as this way. And then for the third order will be del y again. Okay, so we del y again and we we'll rewrite it. Okay, so let's just see how to apply it here. So we are going to begin with del f del x. Okay, so del f del x means that you're going to focus on x. Okay, so let's just differentiate on the x. Okay, if we differentiate on the x, it will give you e to the power of x. So we're going to multiply with the constant. So constant y square. So it will give you y square e to the power of x. So this is not x, you will differentiate something that is not x. This means that this is a constant, so it gives you a zero. So you differentiate this one, so you will have 2x. So this is the answer for the first order. Now we go for the second order. Okay, so for the second order, so now we're going to focus on the y. Focus on the y. So you differentiate on the y, so you have 2y. So multiply with the constant. So ex, so you have 2e. Uh, 2y ex okay so for this one this is not y so it means that this is a constant so you differentiate a constant you have zero now we go for the third order so for the third order so for the third order it means that you're going to focus on the y okay so you focus on the y so you differentiate the y you have one so you multiply with two and e so you have two ex so for this third example they they ask us to find the second order of the partial derivative. Okay, so same thing. We're going to look at the notation from the right to the left. Okay, so it means that you should begin with the del x first, and then followed by del y. Okay, let's just see how to solve this one. So we begin with del x first. Okay, so uh, you can see that we will need to focus on the x. Okay, this x is actually inside the lawn. So it means that you have to deal with the ln first, okay? So when you differentiate the ln, so you will have one over the bracket. So you have one over the bracket, and then only you focus what is actually inside the bracket. So you have e to the power of two x. If you differentiate this one, so you will give you two e to x, and then you simplify it. So if you simplify it, that is what that you get. Okay, so this is the answer for the first order. Then how about the second order? Okay, we cannot stop here because they ask you to find the second order. Okay, if you look at the second order, so means that you have to observe the answer of the first order. Okay, the y here, okay, uh, because the second order is asked you to differentiate with respect to y. So where is the y? The y is actually at the denominator part. We do not have y at the top. We only have the y at the bottom. So it means that whatever at the top is actually a constant. So if you have a constant and this is the thing that you want to differentiate, so what you can do is you can change the form and this is actually you can change it into minus one here okay so the bracket okay so you pull it out it become minus one okay this is the index form it will make it easy for you to do the differentiation so let's just go for the second order so when you want to differentiate with respect to y here so remember this is actually a constant your y is actually inside here okay so your y is actually inside the bracket and it actually is inside the tangents 
It means that basically you have three layers. The first layer is actually the bracket, and the second layer will be the tangent, then we go for the 4y. Okay, let's just deal with the first one first. Let's just deal with, with the differentiations of the uh, bracket minus 1. So if you differentiate the bracket minus 1, so what happens is you have to pull the minus 1 and you have to multiply with the constant here. So that's why you have minus 1 multiply with 2e to x. So give you negative 2e to x. Okay, and then the minus 1, okay, the bracket minus 1, you have to minus 1 again. So that is the result. You will have minus 2 here. And what is this inside the bracket? You have to copy back. So you have to rewrite it back. So just rewrite it back. So that is for the first layer you deal with the bracket. Now we go for the uh, second layer, so you have tangent 4y here. Means that the y is actually inside the tangent, so you have to deal with the tangent first. If you differentiate the tangent, basically you give you secant. So secant squared. The secant squared of whatever that is inside here. So that is your 4y. So that is you deal with the tangent. And then only you go to the 4y. If you differentiate the 4y, so you have 4. Okay? So that is basically what we get from the chain rule. Okay, now simplify it. So the way to simplify it is actually very simple. This is the answer. What you have to do is you multiply the minus 2 with 4. You will have h. And then you have e to the power of 2x at here. And you have the second square 4x at, at the numerator part. And this one, the bracket minus 2 will become your denominator. So this is actually the answer for example 3. For example 3, you also can use the question rule to find the answer to. That means that you can use the answer of the first order and you use the question rule u over v and then uh, use this formula here. Then you can obtain the answer for the second order.